All right. We are live. We are back. And we have right. Jason Thomas here. Welcome. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for having me in these crazy times and for not getting me sick through the phone. I appreciate you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely world of virtual face conversation. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Could you tell us a little bit about about you and uh, what you do? You know, maybe some of your your wins. Yeah. You. Yeah. So I'm a business development representative for an acquiring bank. So I do credit card processing. We do business loans. Um, all these things I do from home. Um, I'm successful in boarding chain accounts, doing marketing. My LinkedIn network has over 15,000 people in it. Uh, I make referrals all day long. I do not work for free. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to say that because, you know, what I want to teach people here is that they can do the same thing. Um, I brought on massive chain accounts. Right now we're bringing in one of the largest accounts um, that I've ever seen that processes over $800 million a month. Uh, we're bringing in $15 million per month accounts. And for these things, we make a fee. These are obviously businesses that use our services. Um, and we get a portion of the markup that we charge from the natural cost that it costs to do credit card processing. Um, business loans, the same thing. Um, a lot of the time I spend, rather than a lot of people knocking doors, making cold calls, which that's cool and that's fine and dandy. I just meet entrepreneurs online. I try to maximize my chances of uh, speaking to a decision maker without going through the chain of command. I, I don't feel like there's any better way to do it than online and in groups. And uh, I would like to teach people some of those techniques, especially people that aren't really used to it right now. People that are used to going to a job that are used to an hourly wage and like that's all they got. If you're used to hourly wage and now hourly wage stops, you have to you have to make a move and you have to make it fast, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's something that people can do. I think one of the things right now, if you look at it, if people if people can't go outside and if people are quarantined, that means, you know, customers aren't walking in the door, right? This is mm -hmm. for like a retail business. So business capital, you could be a source for referring business capital and you can get up to 8% on any loan that you refer to a business owner. Right now, these business owners are successful, but they're going to start watching their numbers drop in the next couple months. You can mm -hmm. do it remotely from your home. All you need to do is fill out an application. All right. Sign up as an employee, take your percentage and get out there and meet business owners. There's literally mm -hmm. thousands of Facebook groups, uh, Instagram people, just people all over the, the United States right now, they're gonna be needing capital mm -hmm. and uh, it's gonna be really lucrative in the next couple months, you'll see. Sales mm -hmm. go down, they're gonna need to get by. And it's not like they don't qualify for the loans because if you look at their financial statements and they're doing, let's say, $75,000 a month, they might just need $20,000 just to get by. So mm -hmm. you're going to get 8% of $20,000 for just making a referral. And it really should, it really should be coming faster than slow. You're going to see that come to a huge increase in the next couple of weeks. Um, that's, that's one thing that people can do. That's and what I love that you're talking about is, is something I've been exploring more and more over the last few years, which is being a connector, not just focusing on what can I do yeah. you know, to get paid, but, can I connect, you know, Jim with Tina and they do a deal and then I get a little bit as a cut as the pool booth. Yeah. I do it all day long. <laughs> I mean, you know, some people, this is going to affect. Okay. But let's be honest at the end of the month, if you have $500 left in your bank account, it's going to affect you right away. Right. Yeah. And let's be honest also with, with no money coming into next month. If you, even if you have $3,000 left over in your bank account, not your savings, but after your money comes in, all your overhead's been paid, your bills, your insurance, your mortgage, right? Let's say you still got $2,500 to $3,000 left over. That's only going to last you until the middle of next month for mm -hmm. most families, right? Groceries, like a couple hundred bucks a week, it's going to start hitting hard. But there are people out there to where at the end of the month, every single month, they have twenty dollars or $30,000 left over. And it's not going to affect those people like it affects the rest of us. Mm -hmm. You need to get out there and network with those types of people, right? Those mm -hmm. types of people have functioning businesses that are not going to get hit as hard as others will. E-commerce merchants, 
course merchants, there's groups of people that refer each other online, affiliate programs, all these different things. So to those people, if you really look at what they are, what they're selling, and you really look at ways that they want to expand their business, you can link up with these high ticket coaches that charge like three or $4,000 for the program, introduce them to the person who needs that kind of marketing and mm -hmm. just make a referral fee by that alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I used to work in a uh, residential solar and oh, yeah. uh, we, we had a $500 referral fee for any closed deal that came through. Um, I've known quite a few other businesses that would give a thousand dollar referral fee uh, yeah. for new business all day long. Right. Mm -hmm. Credit card processing. Uh, that's what I've been doing for the past seven years as well as other services, but credit card processing, it's pretty easy. You can get up to $500 commission by uh, decreasing somebody's fees. Some mm. of these people, like I said, it's going to hit them hard. Your retail merchants, your grocery store merchants, right? Grocery stores, a pandemic right now in there, right? It's a fight over <laughs> yeah. the hand sanitizer and the whole, the whole shit, right? I mean, like it's a big, it's a huge war, right? It's hard to go to Costco. Um, not that you're going to get a Costco, but you could get gyms on the corner. You can get Jim's groceries, right? Or you could get Martha's shoes, or you can get the bowling alley or something like that to where they're looking to decrease what they spend on a monthly basis significantly. So you can outsource a number of sources. You could do energy, you could do credit card processing, you could do analytics programs so they could better understand where their customers are buying through artificial intelligence. A lot of hmm. people don't think like that, um, but that's stuff that's on the market. You could do marketing programs. How am I going to get more people in my door when everybody's scared to shop? Well, you sell them a marketing program. The marketing program works kind of like a free Wi-Fi. If a customer walks in the door and they sign up to free Wi-Fi and they put in their telephone number, they give the business permission to advertise to their social media. So yeah. now for, for giving out a free Wi-Fi, which costs them maybe 30 bucks a month, uh, they can reach 30 different people and they can quantify 30 by 30 by 30 by 30. They'll reach 6,000 people for $30 a month only going to people that are inclined to shop in their business because it quantifies the people who are just like the first person to give their telephone number. So there's things that you can do. Um, that's marketing. Um, I love that. Yeah. So somebody could just, uh, you know, they could just start up a Wi-Fi. you know, go to a business and say, Hey, uh, here's how we're going to do this. We can, we're going to put in Wi-Fi free. Um, like we're going to cover it. And you're going to get the, the numbers and, or the, the email addresses of people that go to your shop and follow up with them via text message, via email, and get them to come back in. So uh, you just offer free Wi-Fi, you get more ongoing customers. And then here's well, how much say, it's going to cost. Let's say we want to start covering our bills that are going to be consistently coming in, right? Yeah. Our bills come in on a residual basis. They come in like that, right? Mm -hmm. All the time. So let's say most people's phone bill. What, how much do you pay for your phone bill? Just your own, not your family's. Like just your uh, own. So I pay 100. 100, right? I pay like 70. Okay. <laughs> so let's say between 100 and 70. All right. The, the average phone bill is like 85. Yeah. And I admire you for that. You must have a badass phone. I know you're paying a little bit for the phone there too. <laughs> okay. So, so with that, so you want to figure out a way like right now when it's crunch time, when it's seriously crunch time, rather than sitting around and like thinking about it, you want to get out there and you want to connect with people. You can refer a service over real quick. That's going to help somebody right now and make you some money. So let's say I can give you this service, a thousand SMS messages for 30 bucks a month. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's say that I can give you a whole email blast with 2,500 emails that you could blast out to get people to come to your location for like 20 something bucks a month. Mm -hmm. All right. You're at $55 a month right there. Let's say you can get the Wi-Fi for another 30. You're at $85 a month. Go in there and sell it for 150. All right. You just made 65 bucks a month. You almost got your phone bill covered in one shot. Mm. And people need it. And people want it. So you go up to another business. You say, hey, look, I just went to Jimmy's down the street. Jimmy Shoes. You know Jimmy Shoes? Yeah. You won't know him before long if this pandemic sticks around, huh? Is this <laughs> say right? So I give Jimmy a dynamic marketing program. It's yeah. going to see him through this whole coronavirus stuff. And it's going to get him more people in the door and it's going to advertise to everybody's cell phone that walks by this plaza. You know why? Because Jimmy's smart. He put the Wi-Fi password on the window. You know what happens when people log into Jimmy's Wi-Fi? What? They come back. You know why they come back? Why? Because he's advertising all up in their social media like 50 times over every single week until they tell it to stop. <laughs> and his friends. They're going to say, oh, shit, how do I get a hold of that? Well, very well. So how much you pay for your Wi-Fi right now, sir? Oh, I pay $170 a month. It's Comcast. 
It's grand the thievery. Right. Just for your Wi-Fi, right? Yeah, well, I get a cable with it with basic channels in case I get bored and no customers are in there. I like to watch my TV. Yeah, you got to entertain yourself, huh? Yeah. Okay. So let's say I came in here. Let's say it's a pizza shop, right? Let's say I came in here and I got a calzone and a pizza. <laughs> and I log into your Wi-Fi. All right, me and Ryan are sitting down. We're eating pizza. We love your place. We love your food. And we leave. How are you going to get me back in the door? How? With your Wi-Fi here. He's going to look at you like you're a maniac. I can't. My Wi-Fi doesn't do nothing. Right. But how are you going to advertise to get me back in the door? Let's say I'm coming by. I'm walking down the street. I see you. I want to get that calzone again, maybe. But I also want to get a burrito, and Ryan likes burritos more than me. What are you going to do? <laughs> he's like, yeah, I like tacos, right? <laughs> so, what are you, what are you going to do, sir? And he's going to say, he's going to say, I have no idea. Spit it out, kid. What do you got? Okay, cool. So I have a Wi-Fi that if I log into your Wi-Fi and I'm in your location, uh, it'll advertise to my social media to get me back in there maybe one or two times a month. But the dynamic thing about the free Wi-Fi is that it quantifies and it goes to 30 of my friends who are just like me, who like the same events, who are in the same social circles, who are the same age and everything like that. And they're inclined to shop here. It advertises to them too because it quantifies. It even goes into their Google Pay and Apple Wallet. He didn't say, well, shit, boy, sign me up. <laughs> Very well, sir. Now you take your $40 unlimited Wi-Fi. Well, let's say it's, let's say it's like 30 something bucks a month, okay? Um, you charge them a $100 sign-up fee just because you can because you're a Stone Cold Mac, all right? It doesn't cost nothing, but you need 100 bucks because your phone bill's 100 bucks. And now let's say you take that for what it costs you, and, and you start thinking, well, do you need any SMS marketing, sir? Why would I need SMS marketing? Did people ever sit down and eat? Yeah, they sit down and eat. You just sat down and ate. Oh, of course. So what if I want to walk outside? Do you think it'd be beneficial for you to send me a text message to tell me when my table's ready? Yeah, that'd be pretty dope. All right. I can throw it in for 25 bucks. Let's go. All right. Let's go. All right. So now you've sold the whole package. You marked it up to be made 70 bucks. You just made $170 the very mm -hmm. first month. And then you got 70 bucks for as long as they, they keep it. That's just one way, you know, creatively that you can get out there and talk to people. And it's about getting people in their location. But let's say, let's say, and this is, I'm just going to give you some inside knowledge on this one because this is very interesting. The most secure way that you could do transactions online to prevent chargebacks. There's a method right now for people shopping in online stores to prevent chargebacks. So what it does is when someone buys some, oh, let's say um, a health pill, a muscle builder, a wiener stretcher, a hair grower, a vision improver. <laughs> Let's just be honest, right? People buy this shit, right? I ain't lying. So it doesn't work. All right, my muscles ain't bigger. My wiener ain't longer. And I ain't any stronger. My endurance didn't go up. My teeth ain't wider. And my eyeballs ain't seeing any better. All right, I want to do a chargeback. Very typical in the health industry. You do a chargeback and the merchant's got to fight it tooth and nail. Guess what happens? Two or three people don't get stronger in one given month. Now this guy's on threat to get his whole business shut down. For, yeah. for in-store, if you walk into a store and your credit card machine app does, doesn't, uh, doesn't work, what happens? You do cash. Yeah. Right? Some places you can do check or some places you can do Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. But you, you can't take credit cards. Now, business goes on. But for these guys in the online stores, the issue is if their credit card processing falls down, they're just done. That's it. So what the new technology does is when someone goes to the website and they say, I want to buy some hair growing pills to make my hair nice and fluffy in the next couple months. And it looks like it looks great on the website. And I saw the cheesy commercial. I'm in love. Okay. So they go and they do a purchase. What it does is it sends the transaction back to the issuing bank, to the customer's bank. This is not normal. This is just something that's brand new. So when it sends it back to their bank, and they go back and they say a couple months later when their hair isn't fluffy and it's the same shit, they're going to they're gonna say, hey, man, my hair is not fluffy. And they do a chargeback. They're going to retrace that charge back and say, well, hold on. on You know what I mean? Like on March 18th, I show that you authorize this transaction because they, they notified me through proprietary software. Mm. You, that purchase. you can't do the chargeback, sir. Sorry. Okay. So when you take that, and you're talking to a business owner, that's extremely important. Everybody's transactions are not huge, but you're talking some of these guys three, 
five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars transactions. So this is a service that you can get for a couple hundred bucks a month, and you can mark it up by a hundred to create yourself a one hundred dollar per month residual income. Per person, then you can go and resell this new technology to everybody, and it's mandated in Europe uh. this year. So if, if the USA doesn't want to be behind on technology like its usual five-year curve, you can talk to online businesses. You can explain to them about this sort of uh, chargeback protection program that's mandated in Europe this year. They can look it up their own selves. They can verify that it's true. And you can make yourself $100 per month for every single customer that you sign up. Wow. That's, that's another one that I think is really, really fun. Um, building websites. Yeah. Can you build, can you build a website? I built plenty in my day. <laughs> you can. I can. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm I'm really not talented enough to build a website. I'm telling you, there, there's groups like I'll explain to you one. One of them's Click Funnels. Yeah. Um, the other one is it's just called Business Owners that has four thousand five hundred people. There's multiple groups where you're talking to people who are going to start shifting because if people can't walk in the stores. And also, if you're relying on retail right now, something's wrong. Because if you look at the patterns, all the retail stores are, are closing down. Everybody's kind of shifting to e-commerce models, right? Yep. It's smart. Even if you have a retail location that's doing mildly successful, um, if there's a parade in town or a big convention, you're going to lose traffic, you're going to lose sales, you're going to lose revenue, and it's not your fault. It's not your product's fault. It yeah. just happens. So if you want to get more sales, you got an e-com site set up now. There's multiple sites for business owners. There's literally, there's hundreds of them out there. A lot of these guys want to build websites. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your average price for building like a decent website is about like 1500 bucks on value. Right. So when you talk to these people who are talented in building websites, more talented than yourself, you ask to see what their work looks like and you get a string of links that show the different sites that they build. You mm -hmm. keep those in your back office and you have them ready to shoot out. Now, you talk to these online entrepreneurs, and you don't have to, to try to sell them a website per se, but you ask them, is there anything that you're doing to shift some of your sales into an e-commerce method right now? Most of them are going to say, yeah, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, I am. Okay, very good. We have a guy that builds websites. Really exciting. Um, they built a lot of websites for us. If they really have, you can say that. If they haven't, it's okay. You have a string of websites that they've built. You make that referral, and you mark it up by 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. Worst case scenario, they negotiate you down 200 bucks, but you still made 300 bucks and this guy's doing all the work. All right. It may not pay you right this very second, but after a couple of weeks when this thing's done, that's a three to $500 referral fee. Mm -hmm. That's another way that nice. you can outsource work through other people who are really, really talented at it. Marketing is big. Um, whether it's in person or e-commerce, a lot of people know how to sell. They can talk to you and they can relate. Okay, cut out a little bit. I don't know how to market. Go. Good to go. Yeah, I got a telephone call. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> so, they, they, um, and they, uh, you know, you need somebody that does, obviously. So some of these guys. But your mic, uh, your audio, your audio went pretty, pretty off. Give me a second. I'm getting phone calls, is why. Gotcha. How about now? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, that sounds real good now. There we go. Thank you. It's my family members calling me. They're worried about me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> or they want help. I don't know. Um, but so you're going to take one of these marketing guys who has a successful bio. How do you know if they have a successful bio? Because they get mentioned in groups. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't want to sound superficial, but the world's superficial. It is. Yeah. Okay. All right. You could have somebody selling Girl Scout cookies for regular value and you could have somebody selling Girl Scout cookies for $10 on top of what they cost for every single box. You know, it's going to make the people buy the $10 extra per box cookies because five people recommended them in an online group. Mm. <laughs> it's messed up, right? I mean, but that's, that's true. So to yep. appeal to people, all right, you have to be, you have to be wise and you have to look and see who's getting recommended a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Who's got a big name out there. Who's popular. And I don't mean to say that other people aren't more talented because some people will believe you because you're making them a, a, a recommendation, but whoever's getting tagged a lot, talk to those people. 
because they're obviously successful with working with people and that's more powerful sometimes. So you take those people who are successful marketers with working with people, you ask them, what's your general services cost? How much can I make as a markup if I already refer you out and you just go tag them. You tag them in a lot of different groups. Okay. Mm. When you look in the groups, what these people themselves don't even do is you go into the search bar of the group and you look at who's looking for marketing, boost, sales. There's a number of different keywords that you can do in Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups. There's a bazillion ways to do it. You recommend these people, you set up a phone call, you lay back in the background, you don't mess it up, you make sure they mesh well, and you follow up with both of them after the call. And for the referral of the marketing services, you can make 200, you can make 500, you can make a thousand. There's a number of different ways that you can make money. Yeah. So that's going to be, so that's going to be another way that you can make money that a lot of people don't think about. A lot of people go, well, I don't know what to do in a group. That's because you're trying to jump in there and sell a bunch of shit. Nobody's mm -hmm. going to deal with you. What you're saying is here, give me something here. Give me something. I want to make money. Give me some money. Sh shut the fuck up is what most of these people are going to say to you. They're going to kick you out of the group. Okay, I'm being 100% honest with you. But if you go in there and you say, you're looking at this guy, all right, maybe you talk to this marketing dude for half an hour. You learn what's the benefits of what he sells. You have somebody that's on there looking and say, you know, from what I've learned from someone who's very powerful in marketing that I met recently is XYZ, XYZ, XYZ. That's how you get the best results. The reason why I trust this person is because he got tagged a lot in the groups. I met him and I think his results are tangible. If you're not finding tangible results, maybe it's time to look for a different and better person. Mm -hmm. And you leave that comment in there. When you leave a comment in a group, if there's 3,000 people in a group and 5% of them see, see that comment that you made, how many people is that? It's 150 people. Yeah. Right? So that's 150 people that just saw one little comment. One of them is going to inbox you. Yeah. At least. <laughs> right? So in the last, in the first, maybe like the first four years, that I would, I would work merchant services. I'd knock doors, I'd cold call, I'd slither my way in the wall to malls and talk to these people and try to convince them to do services with me. I would, I would get told to fuck off and I'd come back. I would get told, no, I'm not the business owner and I'd still go back and ask them again because I was desperate. But what I found out is that you're only talking to so many people in a day. If you're yeah. out there and knock doors, most people can hit like 150 doors in a day. Mm -hmm. I get 150 people in five minutes in an online group. Yep. That's why I started studying marketing and started learning copywriting is because, you know, you can only lock so many doors, but you could write a, write a letter and uh, you can send it out to 10,000 houses per day, for example. Yeah. There's like a gang of them, right? Like you can do that. There's so many people providing services that are going to be cootie proof. Right, there's cootie proof services out there, right? You gotta think of, <laughs> you gotta think of what what businesses are gonna take a hit right now, retail, right? What businesses are not gonna get hurt? Um, E-commerce businesses, right? E-commerce businesses are not gonna get hurt right now. Um, sales are going up. Now it's kind of obvious, and I'm stating something that's completely, you know, that anybody can understand and completely obvious, but. If you talk to some of these supply service companies, right, and you and you offer these guys, they don't need marketing. The marketing is the fact that they sell supplies that are um, personal protective equipment right now, dust masks, gloves, suits. These guys are getting more orders than they ever got in their entire life. Now, if you did merchant services for one of those guys and you knock down what they pay by 50%, you might as well just walk in there and save these guys like three or 4,000 bucks a month, all right? When the curve's done, this is going to come to an end. There's going to be something that's going to calm this virus down. You will see it's, it's never not happened. The scare will go away. All these different things positive will come out of it. Now you talk to those people about saving them three, four $4,000 a month and you hook them up with your marketing guy. Yeah. Now the marketing guy comes in handy. Now he teaches them how to reach their sales just like it was in the last couple of months. They're going to be like, I want some more of that. Right. <laughs> you got the, you got the, the people are calming down now, right? So sometimes that's something you can do. There's people that outsource services, typing, files, right? Filing, all these different things. And these people are in countries like India and it's really poor, right? When I talk to these Indian people and I talk to them on LinkedIn, they're very smart and they're very hardworking and they're very dedicated and they can do any job that an American person could do of the same caliber. But you know what the difference is? Mm -hmm. The currencies that in that country is way cheaper, right? 
A dollar yeah. is a lot more. So when you talk to these people, you're like, huh. I talked to this kid, and he was designing logos, right? And I asked him, how's your logo designing going, man? He goes, it's going good. I was like, how much do you charge for a logo? He goes, oh, $10, $30. I was like, what? I was like, why do you charge $30? He's like, it's $30. And do you know how much $30 is in India? I was like, I don't care, dude. You know how much American people spend on stupid shit? He's <laughs> like, like, yeah, I do. Okay, very well. So I said, hey, listen, if you were to talk to somebody and they had a car, let's say it's a yellow car, it's got four wheels, it's got a sunroof, it's got an antenna, all right, and it's a Chrysler, all right? Two guys have the same car. The first guy you talk to, let's say he says, this car is $8,000. Why is the car $8,000? Because it's going to drive far. It's got a recent tune-up. It's got good air conditioning. It's got brand new tires. Just got the muffler replaced. Fresh oil change. Brand new locks on the doors. And it's got an automatic start. Well, very well. He has value, right? The guy, the kid says, yeah, he has a lot of value. Say, very well. Now, let's say you go to the second guy, same car. And he's like, this car is 500 bucks. You always you can say, what the fuck is wrong with that car? Something's wrong with that car, right? <laughs> Why are you yeah. selling it for 500 bucks, bro? Mm-hmm. So that's what I told this kid. But you're going to find that the mindset with a lot of these people that are doing digital logos, website building, mobile applications, is the exact same. So you're taking the people in our market. I said, let me walk you through a scenario. Someone in our country, you know how much they pay to get their business off the ground? I told them, he's like, how much? I said, they're going to walk in there, going to spend a mandatory of 400 bucks. That's in a cheap state, like Wyoming or Nevada or something like that, right? 400 bucks. Where I'm from in Oakland, it's going to cost you seven or 800 bucks right out the gate, okay, in California. He says, okay. Then you're going to go down and you're going to buy business insurance. You spend a couple hundred bucks on that. If you get business insurance, a lot of people do. He goes, okay. Then you're going to rent a retail location. The retail location is going to cost you $3,000 a month. He goes, okay. And then you're going to get your EIN. And you might pay for that too if you didn't know that it was free because you're already used to paying for stuff. He goes, right. So these people are prepared to spend thousands of dollars. So when you take your logo, you need to talk to people and you need to tell them that you have a sale for $300 right now for what you usually charge for five. He said, oh, I, can't, I can't do that, man. I can't charge him $500. It takes me five minutes. I was like, was your work shitty? He goes, no, I showed it to you. I said, that's what I'm saying. Your work is nice, right? He goes, yeah. I was like, it's $500 work out here. He's like, no, I just, oh, I just can't do it. I can't do it. I said, you can, you can, and you will. He says, all right. Did this dude, I said, look, man, the next person you talk to, all right, ask him what they do for a living in a group, right? You're always in the same group time, and I don't know what the fuck you're doing in there. And he was like, well, I'm trying to make money. I said, well, I'm going to teach you how. I said, the next person, ask them what they do. He's all, well, they do this and that and this. I said, okay, recommend them. Drop their name. Make them referrals. Do free logos for them. Get some referral sources set up. And the next time someone comes up to you and they ask you, what do you usually charge for a logo? Show them those same logo pictures that you showed to me and tell them that you usually do logos for $500, but you're having a springtime sale. You're having a, you're having a February sale. You're having a... Um, you know, a happy go fun sale, call it whatever you want. Just tell them you're having it on sale. Mm-hmm. Drop the price of what you're selling, charge them $300 and call it a day, but make them feel like they're getting a bargain. He's like, all right, dude, I'll give it a try. This dude hit me back. And there's a reason behind this story. I'm not just telling you a weird story. He hit me back and he goes, I can't believe it. I got my first iPhone. I got my very first iPhone because of you. He was like, it was it was awesome, and I, I really want to thank you for that. He's like, thank you very, very much. I was like, didn't I tell you you're a $300 hitter? He's like, 300 He's like, I'm charging him 5 I was like, there you go. That's a boy. <laughs> there you go. There you go. No punk shit, boy. He was like, he was like yeah. He's like, I'm charging him 5 I was like, dropping balls on him. He was like, yeah, boy. So, but, you know, but he'd never know that. Like, he don't know that. Like, we know this. This is something that we know, right? This is something we can upsell. I can take a website that's going for – Fifteen hundred dollars. I can sell for two thousand in two seconds. You could too, right? Yeah. It's only five hundred dollars. Boom, easy. Let them negotiate you. Drop it down to eighteen. Drop it down to seventeen. You still made two hundred bucks, and you ain't lift the finger, <laughs> exactly. right? You only, you only made a referral in Messenger, right? Credit card processing, very easy. Marketing, very easy. Damn, buddy, where's all your customers at? Oh, they all caught this damn flu, right? The coronavirus thing. Huh? He's like, yeah. 
I was like, you don't have it, do you? He was, no, I don't have it. I just, I don't have any customers though. Everybody's scared. I'm surprised you're here. Of course I'm here, man. I love you, man. I love your cow zones, bro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> how, how are you going to get more people in the door? This and Mark this and this. Okay, good. Yeah. What, do you have a website going right now, sir? Oh, I do. Man, your website's, sir, permission to be frank? Yeah, your website shit. <laughs> it's like, really? <laughs> Yeah, your website is shit, bro. Like I'm, t- I'm telling you, I wouldn't buy from your website. Have you ever thought about getting like a redone website? How can I? I don't got that much money. We have a discounted website that'll probably bring you in 30% more, more people each month because it's beautiful. It's aesthetically pleasing. We have a marketing package intact for the first month. Like those companies that'll get them on the first page of Google along with the build, right? So there's all that good stuff. You could make them the recommendations. You're doing websites. You're doing credit card processing. You're outsourcing work that other people can do. You're doing business capital, right? Since nobody's coming in here, have you ever thought about getting some capital? Would that give you a boost? Yeah. What's your general percentages? And obviously you tell them the lowest percentage that would ever be in the best case scenario, right? <laughs> we have effective rate of 0.013. You say, oh, okay, oh my God, that's, that's, uh, uh, what's that, what's that translate out to be? And I said, uh, what would you do with the money? Right? That's what you want to ask them, right? If you had some money to get by right now, what would you do with the money? What are you going to spend it on? Could that help you grow? Are you going to buy some new devices? Are you going to do some marketing? What are you going to do? Oh, this and this and this and this and this. Get them talking about the money. Get them some capital. People are going to need it, man, because if nobody's going to walk into the stores, they don't, they just don't know what they're, they just might need it to get by for a couple months. You know? Mm-hmm. And it takes five minutes to sign up to be a loan agent. Five minutes. And, and you can be a loan agent. Boom. You could work for other people there's remote um, telemarketers. People are doing that too. For someone that just wants one straight job, hourly wage, just get paid. Remote mm-hmm. telemarketers are all over the place. Um, they can do that too. There's like so much different stuff out there, but you need to get out there on LinkedIn. You need to network. You need to get on LinkedIn and press friend requests with as many weird faces as you can <laughs> because, because it only behooves you to do so in a time like this, right? You yeah. get out there and make friends, um, see how you can refer other people's services, see how you could uh, facilitate the sale of some masks or some Homer Simpson suits. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, never, I never thought I'd get that on my desk, but I used to sell janitorial supplies and I made a comment in a group. All of a sudden, this guy goes, say, I need someone that needs 7 million masks. Sweet. You mark those up by 5 cents, guess what you did? You did pretty damn good. Yeah. <laughs> right? right? <laughs> At the end of the day, even if you're splitting it with a couple people, you, you've made, you made a couple hundred grand, right? Yeah. On 5 cents? Yeah, you did. Um, so there's so many different ways that you can make money. Cannabis consulting. I do not condone this. I do not touch or use drugs. But as far as it being like a legal, a legal business, it is. They just sell weed, right? So you can do cannabis consulting all over the place. Hook up with farms, sell biomass with people that are doing CBD, who are online entrepreneurs. Those, you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars, $50,000 rips, $20,000 rips, $100 rips if you just give it away at cost, right? So cannabis consulting is really, really big right now. And those guys have money. Those guys have $3 million in the bank and looking to buy, oh, let's say like 5 million pounds of biomass. Mark it up by two cents a pound, your, mm-hmm. your money all day long. And all you have to do is say, Jimmy, this is John. John, this is Jimmy. Goodbye. <laughs> just, and let the two, let the two guys hash it out. They'll send each other samples. Um, they'll discuss it back and forth. Now, I, I must admit that this is non-traditional. This is something that I do and will continue to do from my house. And you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars doing it. You're talking about like $50,000 rips on like a little tiny one. What do you mean by rip? What's a rip? I mean, like, so it's like a markup that you keep. Okay. Like rip, right. So let's say, let's say someone needs some liters of some crude. Okay. This is like an oil that derives from leaves of cannabis. And let's say that they're going to make some gummies that people eat and get stoned. I know that's weird, but trust me, this makes money. So let's say you find, <laughs> you find a lab, which is thousands of labs across the United States. Let's say that the buyer's in Oregon and the lab's in Colorado, and you found someone that can produce this kind of oil. Now, a two liter of this stuff goes for 
market value $2,800. Let's say you talk the guy down $2,500 and you sold it to another guy, five of them at $2,800. Right? You just made $900 mm -hmm. on three of them. <laughs> but they're not going to buy three of them. They're going to buy it by the tens and the dozens and the hundreds. So mm. maybe you're making 900, maybe you're making 9,000, maybe you're making 50,000, maybe you're making 800,000. There's wow. a lot of money that you can make on these, on these sales and you're really just making introductions from weird weedpreneurs to farms <laughs> and to labs. <laughs> so the underlying thing here is, is connecting people. Is, Correct. Yeah, finding what people's needs are and then even if we can't meet their needs or get them what they need, we can find somebody else. Correct. And you have to really get out there and network with a lot of people. What I would always recommend is to the, the people building the websites, that's going to sell fast. The people doing the capital right now and capital and cash flows is going to be low. That's going to sell more. Um, selling technology that can get people in the door, like the marketing program I just mentioned, that one's, that one's super red hot. Um, it's not red hot if yeah. everybody's on a lockdown because no one's going to walk by to get the free <laughs> The free Wi-Fi, <laughs> you know, yeah. but it, it's something that is going on on a consistent basis. So, so no matter what it is, you don't have to be punching the clock um, to to get money. You don't always have to do that. If someone puts a stop in your whole money flow, yeah, I would get out there and meet as many people as humanly possible that I could right now, and mm -hmm. see different ways that you can refer their service and make sure you get a referral fee. Some of it's going to be an upfront commission. Once I'm done doing the service, you get a $300 commission for you for referring it over. Okay, thank you. Okay, great. Some of them is going to be continuous. Now, I say continuous is important because we don't know how long this will last. I think it'll be a couple months and it's over personally, but I mean, I have no idea, honestly. Like, let's, who, let's go forward. Who knows? So, ongoing money from people that accept contracts that will continuously pay it and you keep the markup. Is always yeah. a good strategy because you can kill your bills off one by one. Yeah. That's residual. Yeah. That's another mm. way. So these are the ways that I know for sure to make money um, by referring to other people that just do services in a time where it's just going to be a crunch and no one's going to be going outside. I love that. So what is something that people could do, you know, tomorrow's Monday, what can they get done this week? Some practical uh, actions and tips that they can use this week to start implementing what you've been talking about. Uh, CBD credit card processing is very hard to do. It's really hard to set up for those guys. Um, mm -hmm. Everybody's going to be shifting to e-commerce tomorrow. CBD is only about like three or four banks that do it. I work for one of the banks yeah. that does it. So if you're to meet people in groups and hook up credit card processing, into their websites. It's uh, roughly like a $300 commission every time you refer a sale into the company and then an ongoing paid residual. You're going to see a huge boom in that. There's going to be a huge boom because one, it's already in a boom. Two, because nobody's going to go to the retail stores. Three, everybody's yeah. going to e-commerce to buy stuff because they don't want to leave their house to make a purchase right now. That's going to be yeah. huge. Two is find the people that are building the websites. Get out there into groups with multiple entrepreneurs and refer the guys that are making the websites and get links and share their work. You'll see that this is fast, right? As soon as the site's done, you get a referral fee. You're not building it. You don't know on the mm -hmm. guy's agenda, but this is something that'll sell like really, really hot right now. Three, make sure that you can get in touch with loan companies. We have loan companies that speak English and Spanish that we can make referrals to people to that can inject capital in these businesses who are just going to be dr dramatically losing it right now because they will. No one's coming into doors. There's nothing you can do. Yeah. If they say it's a lockdown and it's old people, oh man, guess what's going to happen to the cheer repair guy? <laughs> he's done, bro. Right? He's going to need he's going to need fifteen to twenty thousand dollars just to make it the next couple months, right? Because no one's no one's repairing their shoes. Because if you're an old person on the street, they're going to snatch up they're going to snatch up every old person that they see and they go, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like a little kid at three o'clock in the morning fuck you going <laughs> right they're gonna, they're gonna make him go back <laughs> they're gonna make him go back mama? To yo hey where's your grandson ethel where's your grandson dude what the fuck you think you're going ethel no, where's just, your grandson just, at this hour huh you, yeah apparently they just like did that <laughs> apparently they did that in california uh everybody over 65 they said stay the 
Dot com. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm in California. That's what I'm saying. Like they're they're making them stay in. So I think credit card. I don't mean to lean towards credit card processing, but I know it extremely well. And yeah, that's what you do. You, yeah, an industry that's in a really really big boom is okay. that. Um, finding remote work for someone that's not sales savvy, or that's just not like a absolute. Uh, hunter mentality you kind of got to be a hunter right now you're gonna have to shift that a little bit okay because it comes down to us eating or not right yeah. like our kids, right our pets our loved ones our family man like it's scary if you're supporting other people right now if your in-laws just moved in oh my god and they're like sitting there eating up all your potato chips and <laughs> diet dr pepper like you're fucked right so yeah. one you're gonna have to get a little bit of hustle but if you don't feel like that fits people's personalities Sometimes it don't. You can find, yeah. You, yeah, it really doesn't, man. You can find online jobs where you could answer people's calls and do remote customer service. You should have a resume on hand. If I was a lot of these people and they haven't put one out in years, I'd go custom tune my resume right now. The first yeah. Number one. That's a good idea. I should, I should interview somebody on how to up your date your resume. We could do that too, but I mean, I'll let you handle a better professional for that one. But I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> PowerPoint. That's what we do. PowerPoint. We, we could do, you and I, like, we could probably do so many different things. We got, we know a lot of different yeah, areas. Different, different little things that we do. I'll teach them how to pump up their weird ass resumes. But um, <laughs> people, people do chronological resumes, right? I'm not going to get into web, website. I mean, uh, you know, blast not resumes right now. But what I'm going to say is PowerPoints. Yeah. Show what you did. Show the growth that you created. Show yes. how you improved the process. Show case your case studies. Yeah, case studies. Man, yep. Jason went in there and you know what, man, we we're only selling vanilla ice cream. This motherfucker came in there, we started slinging more chocolate ice cream than anybody ever seen in their life. Jason is a chocolate ice cream stud. Take that, Baskin Robbins. But My, um <laughs> for example, what I did, I have a case study. You know, I started working at that solar company uh back in twenty twenty thirteen. I redid yep, their website yep. and their online, yep. the income that they generated, sales generated from the website, it went up by a million dollars over the next year. Damn. That's freaking, see, you can put that on a resume. Someone will hire you. A lot of people have been working at, uh, I don't know, some company for the last four or five years, right? Everything's been stable. It's not stable right now. Yeah. All right. You're not going to do this job. All right. It's kind of like, it's kind of like you're crawling through the mud to get to a better land and a greener pasture. You ain't gonna be in the mud forever, but you gotta crawl through the mud sometimes. You gotta suck up your pride and just do that shit. Yeah. So I mean, build your, build your resume. It takes 20 minutes to build a resume, generally. Mm -hmm. All right, you know the company. You know where you worked at. You know the time timeline that you worked there. Don't just put, don't, I mean, like, don't just put, I worked at Safeway, supermarket, for <laughs> seven years, and I stocked fucking shelves. I got employee of the month one July. But that was about it. You got to put like, like why you're strong, why, why you do good. If you're looking at 300 resumes, you want to look at the one like, <sighs> okay, Todd was in, you know, this place. He worked at Coca-Cola, fucking hauled carts with Coke around. Like he's fucking drove a truck after seven years. Like, okay, whatever. Oh, shit. Look at James over here. James is a stunner. James worked for solar. Hey, man, James increased company revenue. By a million gazillion percent because he's extra fly and he went out there and nailed all these leads. He's a hustler, man. Let's hire this guy. So he put bullet points. Okay. Yeah, you want the results. The results yeah. that people are going to get. Nobody wants to hire an employee. They want the results that the employee is going to bring them. They want a stunner. You know what? You're going to have to pitch why. Okay. This is something you have to strategize about, too. Why are you coming here right now? Just because your work slowed down or what is it? You're going to have to have a rebuttal for that. You're going to have to save that resume, save it on your computer, save it on your smartphone, have your son or daughter do it, have your uncle or auntie do it, whoever has the capacity to do so. Save that sucker out, go on Craigslist, go on LinkedIn. LinkedIn has a job section. It's not just about some assholes asking you if you need something that you don't need sometimes. They have a full-blown job section in your area and in your zip code. You can apply to multiple jobs. Do whatever you can do to work at home and do it. If it sounded like a scam before, maybe you want to test it. Maybe it's not a scam. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hey, maybe you want to try it out. If it pays, it pays, man. You know what I mean? We're all trying to we're all trying to supplement income. Like I, I won't lie, like my my uh some of my merchants are travel merchants, right? 
and they're uh, timeshare people. Yeah. Shit, man. I get sixteen hundred dollars a month from just those couple accounts. Right? I'm gonna yeah. lose that for sure, for sure, dude. It's going yeah. it's going down. So what am I gonna do in the meantime? I'm gonna make referrals. I'm going to do services. I'm going to do stuff that people need. I'm going to get out there and talk to people. I'm going to hit them groups like it's the next thing running. I'm going to do it in the morning until I go blind, until I set my phone down at night. Because I'm not going to, I know that next month it's going to hit me. But I'm not going to wait until next month. I'm not going to yeah. think about it. I'm not going to talk about the coronavirus on Facebook like a jack off, bro. I'm going to get out there and freaking slug it. Like, I'm serious, dude. I'm going to be a savage on it. I'm not playing around. So I hope everybody encompasses that same kind of attitude and they get out there and they start slugging it. If you have your resume on file, it doesn't matter what the job is. Guess what? Hi, I want to be a remote hamburger salesman. I've always thought of myself to be a remote hamburger salesman because I used to sell Coca-Cola door to door. Yeah, so the best thing about me is X, Y, Z. Really think I'd be a fantastic fit. Thanks, Phil. Looking to talk to you next week. Send that motherfucker. Get on the next one. Hi, I really thought that I'd be a good remote copywriter because my copywriting skills are fantastic. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Huh, on purpose. Hey, thanks for thanks for looking over my resume, champ. Talk to you and just send them, man. If you did that for like two hours straight and you send out like fifteen or twenty resumes, the chances are like one of them is going to call you back. Yeah. At least, at least one of them. All remote work from home opportunities, stuff where you can make money. You can Google it. You can you can look at different marketing companies that you can work for. They will actually pay you a base salary. Just get by. Whatever I mean, ever gets you by. Who knows? You might make more than you make in your other job. You might just hit it off like a home run, like nobody knows, but it's it's not a good time to be staying stagnant, being curious, being fearsome, wondering what's going to go on because it's coming, right? I would assume that it comes before I assume that it didn't come so I could get some treadway and make some money. Even if it doesn't come and my merchants all make me a lot of money, I get residual income. Maybe I'll get more in the next couple of weeks because I got scared. <laughs> I mean, but it's better to be scared and, and having some type of action, having a plan, writing it down. It doesn't matter. But whatever you're doing, just get out there and just like hit it as hard as you can. When you wake up, you got to think about it. I don't want to sit there and talk to some person about a news article or Donald Trump. I mean, I'll stop him at their tracks and say, sir, I like you and you're my friend, but I don't give a fuck right now. I'm trying to make some money to feed my family. I love you, man. But I, I really don't give a fucking care right now. Thank you, man. Thanks. Fuck off. Then I'm back at it all day long. I mean, because there's a million opportunities out there. There's a, a thousand different ways to make money, dude. There's a lot of people that this ain't going to affect, mm. right? You need to find those kind of people. You need to sell stuff to them or help them or help them in a way that they're not thinking of right now. Maybe they're mm. not thinking about decreasing their credit card processing. Maybe they're not thinking about you coming in and uh, adding CBD processing to their, to their website. They're thinking about it. They know they're going to have to do it in the next couple of weeks because they're only designing their website now. Mm -hmm. because their sales are going to take a hit in their, their regular retail store. So you're never going to know, and they're never going to mesh with you unless you get out there and you meet them, right? When people are sitting at home, you have a lot of different shit you can do when you're sitting at your house. You can watch TV. You can do you can take the trash out. You can do the dishes. You can do yard work. You can take your dog for a walk, or you can sit there and you can hustle. I recommend you sit there and hustle, all right? Let your dog out when he has to go, but for the most part, sit there and hustle. You know? mm. so just don't stop moving man because right now a lot of these people are gonna can you imagine being being locked out of your job for three months that's scary that's all scary that, my wife works at costco i don't know what i don't know what's gonna happen man yeah, yeah but I, know I, gotta, I gotta make some sales <laughs> i gotta make some moves you know i know i'm signing some mm -hmm. huge accounts but even those won't come in until a couple months so it's just uh it's crunch time 100 percent uh, I would be there for anybody that needed personal help or that sees this and says, hey, that fucking weird dude in the blue shirt that was walking around his daughter's room doing that <laughs> webinar for you the other day that said a lot of cuss words and shit. Like, I don't know. For some reason, I think I would like to talk to that guy. I'm here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, and that guy that gave a really, really crappy advice about making resumes who doesn't know his eyeball from his asshole. For some reason, I still think I want to talk to that guy. Like I said, I'm here. <laughs> I'll, I'll help them. <laughs> but uh, but dang, dude, it's I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen to everybody. I don't know how long it's gonna last. I don't know how many people are gonna be infected. Hopefully, it's a minimal amount. But if they lock us all in our houses, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. right? What are you gonna? Yep. That's the main question. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna believe that it didn't work 
because you tried it for four days and you didn't get no results. That happens. That's, I mean, you got to say it. That's natural, right? Sometimes I'll try for a week and I won't, I won't get any results. Yeah. It happens. Maybe because I'm doing other stuff in a week. But I mean, most of the time I do. Mm -hmm. But sometimes in a given day, I can get like four applications out from my couch. Yeah. And I met people online. I mean, and that's huge. And most of the time I get them back. So if someone wants to do banking, if someone wants to do loans, if someone wants to do marketing, and they need the resources. I have resources for all that stuff, and I can make them immediate referrals. Mm -hmm. If someone has a screenshot of something that they're saying and they don't know the exact answers, I'll answer it for them and I'll tell them because I know about all the companies and I know about these marketing programs. So if they need help, like I'll personally help them. I, I mean, but for me, I think that's the most I can give without taking off my own plate is if anybody needs help, I'll help them. All right, man. Well, I appreciate that. And thank you so much. Um, let's hang on after I end the recording for a little bit. Um, but, but man, thank you so much for taking your time and sharing your ideas with the people because sure. what you shared in, if you really take this to heart, um, you that are listening, like he just revealed a lot of secrets about how to go find and get your needs met by helping other people get what they need. And that, that is timeless principles of wealth. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks so much.